everybody who is watching this fantastic video. I'm very happy to have you here today. Whether you're a national or international viewer, you're only welcome and we're so pleased to have you today in our online institutions. My name is uh, Olen Jolai Moko Tayelo Singo from beautiful countries of coordinate Republic of Tanzania, is on the African continent. We African, we love uh, different, uh, different peoples of the different colors of the different uh, backgrounds. So we'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you, firstly, uh, into one of our online institutions that's called the Online Undergraduate Polytechnic Institute. So this is Polytechnic, the World Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania, and then in square bracket, all in July M. So again, Smutins, we'd like to welcome you into uh, one of our YouTube channels that's called the Online Poly Institute, which is abbreviations of 40. Uh, and here, I forgot the word undergraduate. Okay, so let me just do the minor correction on this uh, channel so it cannot get lost along the way. So it's called the Online Undergraduate for the Institute of Tanzania. So this is our YouTube channel. It's called the Online for the Institute. Online undergraduate, excuse me, online undergrad 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 for the Institute of Tanzania in square bracket in order to write in. So this is our official YouTube channel where we provide contents relevant and important for the undergraduate students or bachelor students in engineering and science courses. So before even we go into too much details of these little introductions, I would just need to remind you the vision that we have uh, in online undergraduate polytechnic institute of Tanzania, square bracket or in July M. So what visions we have? That's a very important and fundamental question. These are the visions that we have. We have an assignment to teach and train some group of students who will be ready to extract knowledge and wisdom from the formal and informal classroom instructions in engineering and science, including mathematics, and combine with the knowledge and the wisdom that you are going to extract it from the Word of God that written in the Holy Bible in order to solve real life problems. So remember, our main objective is not to help you to pass your continuing assessment. It's not to help you to pass your final exams or your regress exams. Our main objective in online and private polytechnic institute of Tanzania in square bracket on July M is actually to teach you on how you have to think to take the classroom and combining with the informal and experience knowledge and wisdoms to solve real life problems. So our intentions are rejoice is not about your graduation so, or score or your grade of A in engineering mathematics, in high engineering mathematics. But real, our great joy is once you solve a real life problem that is waiting you to solve, whether in your community, whether your country or your city, or whether that in your continent. So again, we have so many specific objectives. One of the specific objectives is to help you to get prepared for your continuing assessment and also for your final exams or your university exam. Uh, we have also so many uh, other specific objectives such as we make you to always transform you to learn higher engineering mathematics and higher scientific mathematics for the rest of your life. So stay tuned. So we have so many departments in these uh, uh, engineering institutions. We have uh, a department of what it is called the Higher Engineering and Scientific Mathematics, that the departments where we are today. And uh, we, have, we, are, we are teaching you 12 courses or 12 modules in these departments of higher engineering and scientific mathematics. One of the course or modules is called differential equations and complex variables. These 12 modules actually will give you everything that you need to learn as undergraduate or bachelor engineering students or bachelor engineer, bachelors or undergraduate bachelor or undergraduate scientific students. So this is one of the modules or one of the course that we are going to discuss in it means that in detail. Again, another thing that we like to remind you, we have also our online library, and right now where we provide or we equip you with some engineering mathematics books, whether soft copy and hard copy. And also we have also this scientific calculator, right? So we have uh, we are also 
uh, distributing or we're equipping our students with original scientific calculator, you can audit it and we can ship it in any 31 regions of the United Republic of Tanzania, including Ongoli and Perma. Again, another thing that I would like just to let you aware that we are in chapter 3 called the Power Series Solutions of Ordinary Differential Equation. If you join near the year ordinary points, and this is lecture 10. So we have already uploaded 11 lectures from lecture 00 to lecture 9. So this is lecture 10, problem solving of ordinary differential equation by using existing sorting theory. And these contents are for B, B inch means bachelor in engineering or bachelor in science, okay, B inch and dot. So we say that this is B inch and B as B as C. So this is bachelor in science. Okay. So this module of course is taught for second, to the second year undergraduate students or first year. Uh, depends on the curriculums of your institutions or quality or university. So we are in lecture 10 problem solving and we are going to do the corrections of the homework which was homework 9, the questions I left with, which was example 24, that's a correction that we are going to do in entire lecture. I believe that you've been going through from lecture 1 through lecture 9. In case you have any question, because we love our students to ask the questions, use the comment sections there to ask your questions please. And don't worry about the time and even that the challenges you, have, you are encountering on solving the ordinary differential questions with variable, uh, with variable, because with variable, with uh, uh, variable constant, or with, yes, with, with variable coefficient. So don't worry about the challenges and the table. If you do too much practice, you'll master and you'll find that those these questions, uh, solving of this, solving these questions is very simple compared to the previous fundamental concepts of all of but you have to work hard. Again, I like to, to ask you, you mean that if you want to be, you want to register yourself, so to get notification in any of updates that we will be providing to you, we ask you to click this button so subscribe, and then the icons of the bell appear there, you have to click it, and then choose the options of all. So, don't forget to do this in order for you to get notification. So right now, let us go to our today business. So, uh, so we have to do correction of homework homework nine, and this homework nine we told you or we left it in in lecture nine, which is still in our YouTube channel right now, so you can access it. Okay, so you can access it. Okay, so correction. So how the question state? Okay, okay, the questions state that find a series. So first of all, it was a concept. You find a series of this. So let me write quickly, just to remind you, and then we have to solve because we have to accomplish it as well as we can. So this was a number 24. Number 24, this is concept. Okay, and after solving this example, we'll be have finished the, the first part, part A of power series solutions near our power series solutions of ordinary twenty of ordinary differential equations near the year ordinary points. So the first part, because there's two parts. So this is the first part. In the next lecture, which will be lecture 11, I will teach you the next, the second part of this concept. So the question statement, find, find a series, find a series solution, find a series solution of x squared minus 4 dy x squared then plus what? Three, x minus 2 dy dx dy dx plus 5 y this is equal to 0 in powers of x in powers of Okay, so that's the questions that we have on the plan. So this is the differential equations, ordinary differential equation with variable coefficients. Remember that. Ordinary differential questions with variable coefficients. What the means of variable coefficients? This is a function, it's not a constant value. 
and it's the constant, it's the function, it's not a constant demand. So ladies and gentlemen, let us solve. I believe that you have tried on your own, possibly you get stuck somewhere else, don't worry that we are going to discuss that part. So remember the first step, right? Or the first step, you have to say that, okay, so the first step, you have to say, you have to check, okay? So the first step, we say that you have to test it, you have to check, okay? So the first step is testing if x is equal to zero is ordinary point. Or check if the point near to this ordinary differential equation is ordinary point. So test if x is equal to zero is ordinary point. So how do we do? So remember that we have to compare we have to compare given given ordinary differential equation we thought this is standard standard ordinary differential equation okay so what is standard ordinary differential equation it is x squared minus 4 then we can write in this notation minus what plus 3 x minus 2 then y single dash and then plus what plus 5y is equal to 0 so this is let's say equation 1 then we have equation 2, it is what standard is P of x, y double dash, plus Q of x, y single dash, plus R of x, y is equal to 0. So this is equation 2. So if we compare, we find that P of x, which is our interest, is equal to x squared minus 4. So remember that, we say that if P of x is equal to 0, or is equal to x naught, is not equal to zero, then we say that then we say x is equal to zero is ordinary point. So this is ordinary point. Okay, so if it's ordinary point, we say that okay, so you have to find, okay, so we have to say p of x is equal to x naught is equal to zero. This is equal to zero square minus four. So this is not equal to negative. Because 0 square minus 1 minus 4, so it's not equal to negative 4. So if that's the case, then we have proved that x is equal to 0 is ordinary point. Is ordinary point of the differential equation. Alright? So that's the concept that you have to remember. So you go for the second step, ladies and gentlemen. The second step, we have to say that we have to recall, uh, recall and apply existence theory. So we have to recall and we apply what existence existence theory. Okay? Existence theory. So how does existence theory take y is equal to sigma notation from n is equal to zero to infinity? Then this is equal to <coughs> this is equal to a n or a substitute of n x minus x naught power n. Simply, we say that this one can write in this sigma, simplify sigma notation, sigma notation from n is equal to 0, not to 1, to infinity. Then here we have a n x power n. So this is existence here, right? We taught you in lecture 8, lecture 9. Okay, so in that case, we have one. So we have to differentiate this equation 2 or equation 1. So you say that in, uh, this is equation 3, let's say. So you say that you have differentiate. So differentiate or differentiate equation 3 twice. Okay, if you differentiate for the first time, we have y single dash. Then we get what? We get sigma notation from n is equal to 0 plus 1. If you do remember that we avoid the first term or the first derivative to be zero. So if that the case, you have here a subscript of n, then if you differentiate x power n, you get n x power n minus one. So simply, this is equal to what? Is equal to sigma notation, n is equal to one to infinity. Then we have n, we have a subscript of n, x power n minus one. And let us differentiate second times. Find the second derivative. We have to differentiate what we had in the first derivative. 
So if we differentiate in the sigma notation, right? So this is infinite. So here we have the first count index is equal to one. We add in one to avoid the first term to be zero or the entire second derivative to be zero. So then here we have m a of n. Then we differentiate x power n minus one. We have n minus one. Then we have x power n minus one minus one. This we make your sigma notation from n is equal to two infinity. Then we have n times n minus one a n. <coughs> then x power n minus two. Okay, that's the second step. So because this is the this is the example we are solving for you in order for you to master this stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us go to the steady state. Okay? The steady state, we said that, okay? So, substitute, substitute, substitute equation, substitute, substitute the value of y, y single dash, and then and the y double dash in what in equation so let substitute it in equation what in equation one so substitute in equation one we have what? we have x square minus four then we have y double dash so y double dash it is sigma notation from m is equal to two to infinity and this is n, a minus 1, a n, x power n minus 2. Right? Ah, but we have also, yes, okay. So then we have plus what? Plus 3. Then open bracket. Open bracket, you have x minus 2. Okay? x minus 2, y single dash. So this is sigma notation from n is equal to 1 to infinity. This is n, a n x or n minus 1. Then we have what? We have 5. So 5, and this is what? This is sigma notation. n is equal to 0 to infinity. Then we have what? We have a n x power n is equal to 0. Okay. So we go for the first step. It is a gentle, no waste of your time. For the first step, we say that support this is question what? This is question four. So expand the first term, second term, and third term of 40. Expand equation four. So to expand equation four, <coughs> we say that we are going to have five terms instead of three terms. The first term is n is equal to two to infinity. And then there we have what? We have n a minus 2 x square, or we say that a n x power n minus 2 times x square. Then we say what? Minus what? Minus 4. Okay. Minus 4. Should we take 4 out of sigma notation? That's what the point is not to No, we have to keep it. So minus sigma notation, n is equal to 2 to infinity. Then we say what? We say 2 or 4. Uh -huh. So 4 times what? So 4 times n. n minus 1. a. a of n a of n, then x in a minus 2. Then we go for the next thing. The next term also is sigma equation n is equal to 1 to infinity. Then we have what? We have 3 n a of n x power n minus 1 times x power 1. Okay? Then we have what? We have again sigma equation. n is equal to 1, infinity, then we have what? This is 6, then we have a 6m times 
times what? Times a of m x power m minus 1. Okay? So we say that. So expand and simplify. And simplify. Okay? So then we say that this is what? Plus. n is equal to 1. To what? Infinity. Then this is n. A of n. Uh -huh. No, not n. It will be 5. A of n. X power n. Is equal to 0. So how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. So whenever you see that, you have uh, a function which has two terms. Okay, and here you have a function of the two terms. So this function of two terms will give us two terms, and this one will give us two terms, and this will give us one term. So whenever you see these kinds of differential equation, then you have to think that you are going to deal with five terms in sigma notation. But again, I want to tell you, uh, just this the concept. Whenever you see that here you have a function which contain a term where uh, a term of x power it means that if of, this is the technique, right? So this is technique. Whenever you find a coefficient of y square, here it's a function which is f of x maybe minus or plus, maybe a certain constant. Then that is is it is but ordinary differential equations uh, which possess ordinary quantity. If it possess the singular parent, then you find the function here does not comprise any terms of 40, uh, any terms, or does not comprise a coefficient of 40 of x power 0. So I will recommend this technique also after I taught you the concept of singular quantity. Means you can just check it quickly and you know that I'm going to use ordinary quantities. Okay? So you got the, the point and the link that you've caught in the question and are still enjoying the beauty of uh, engineering, high engineering, mathematics, and scientific mathematics. But again, I want just to let you know that you can order the engineering books, the engineering mathematics books, and all just the books for engineers and scientists who have been studied where you are. So you can think differently and you can think in terms of the uh, on the uh, use of the world in terms of in context of what? engineering mathematics and scientific mathematics. You can also think you are in case you feel from your heart that you want to offer God your free will in sense giving. Okay. Your free will in sense giving. You can send it to okay through so this telephone number 0759 this actual could be a very expensive program for you to have it here. But God is faithful because he's the sponsor of this program that you are offering will be used in the running cost to make sure that more than 500 videos of engineering, mathematics, and scientific mathematics will be in there for the present and future generation. Okay. So that the vision, that, that the mission, and that an assignment that you have been given by God. So afterward, we say that we have to simplify, right? So we have to simplify. We have to simplify it. We have to simplify. So to simplify, actually we have to combine these terms. Okay? So here we have the same base, this is the exponent of power with exponent, my same base. Here we have the same base, and also here we have the same base. So you can simplify. So to simplify, here we have uh, n is equal to 2 to infinity, and then our coefficient is n times a minus 1, n minus 1, and then we have what? We have a n, okay? That a n, then x, so adding exponent, because of the same base add exponent, n minus 2 plus 2. So it is x power n. Then there we have what minus. Okay. So sigma notation say n is equal to 2. 
n is equal to 2, then we have what? That's 4m, so infinite. We have 4m, we have n minus 1. Then here we have the terms of x power n minus 2. Okay, that's for n minus what? Minus 2. So plus what? Plus sigma notation. N is equal to 1, infinite. So we have what? Uh, we have 3, 3n, three a of n. Then we have what? X in for n. That's the second set. So remember, this is first term. This is second term. This is third term. Okay, third term. So third term, also we have the first term. Uh -huh. First term here uh, will be minus 6n. So we have minus sigma notation from n is equal to 1 to infinity. We have 6n, a of n, x power n minus 1. Is it? Yes. Minus 1. Okay. This is the first thing. Then we have plus what? The fifth term. Fifth term is sigma notation n is equal to 0 to infinity. Then we have 5. Then we have a n. x power what? x power n is equal to 0. Right? Yeah. So those are the five terms we have. So the fifth term. Fifth term. Yeah. So to have this system, we say that uh, because you have the fifth terms, uh, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. Alright. So the next system, which will be the fifth system, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? We did mention we have to express all five terms in the same in the same motif in the same generic term. Can to express all the all the first all the five terms in the same generic term. What does it mean? The meanings of generic term to remind you is the form of x power n in existence theorem. So if you observe, we don't have a problem with first term, not five terms, three terms. So we don't have a problem with first term, we don't have we have a problem with second term, we don't have a problem with third term, because it's x power n, we don't have we have a problem with fourth term, and we don't have a problem with fifth term. So we have to express only uh, we have to express two terms. You have to express first in, the first in second, and the third in, and fourth. First terms in the same generic term. Okay. You have to express all of But anyway, so we have to express all. But we are going to deal with only two terms, second and first term. So you have to express all five terms in the same way, generic term. So to do that, we say that, okay, that is good, okay? So let us deal. So to deal with second terms, how? By what? So for the second term, we say that we have to raise the first counting index, so we can take it, our second term, n is equal to two, to infinity, okay? So here we have four n, and then we have what? n minus one, then this is x in power n minus 2. So let us write, raise the summation index by 2 and lower the counting index by 2. So this will make it. So if we do that, because we've been seeing that sum, n is equal to 0 to infinity. And then here we have what? Okay, so we are writing the counting index by 1. So we are going to have 4n by 2, 4n plus 2. And then we have n minus 1, uh, n minus 1 plus 14, 
plus 2. Then minus 1 plus 2. And then she are going to have what? X then minus 2 plus 2. Okay? So then again we can take the first term. N is equal to 1, infinite. And there we have what? 6n, 8n, x power n, minus 1. Right? So you have to write the summation index by what? To write the summation index by 1. And lower the counting index by what? By 1. So here you are going to have, remember that here we subtracted 2. So you have n, okay? So here we have n, 1, just to remind you infinity minus 1, which is 1, so even here it is infinity minus 2, okay, so even here we still have, okay, so we have what, 2 minus 2, okay, so then we have what, 60, n plus 1, and then we have n, okay, okay, so excuse me here, if I forgot a of n plus 2, and also here we have a of n plus 1. So then we have to take the first term, the second term, and substitute them into the... So let us take this answer for first, second term and first term and substitute into our equation 5. For our, uh, into, what, into equation 1. So we had equation 1, we had equation 1, we had equation 2, we had equation 3. So this is equation 4. So to substitute, we are going to have five terms. So here we have n is equal to 2 infinite. <coughs> and then we have n, n minus 1, a of n, <coughs> x power n, and then it's minus what? Minus c notation. So this is what? n is equal to 0 to what? To infinity, right? To infinity. And then that this is 4, open bracket, n plus 1, n plus 2, then okay, n plus 2, then here, here was a of n plus 2, x power n, then minus, it minus, plus, plus what, 3, n a n when you have x power n minus what sigma notation n is equal to one to infinity the third term don't have six n a n x power n mm -hmm. okay, excuse me excuse me uh, so we made a mistake, thank you Bob. So here we have class sigma notation of 3n times an. Remember that you have to be careful. An n times x power n. Okay, so this is minus what? This is minus n is equal to 1 to infinity. Then how about here 60 n plus 1 right now, 6 n plus 1. Then you have a of n plus 1 x power n. That's the first thing. Then you have the fifth thing, which is plus sigma notation n is equal to 0 to infinity then you have 5 a n x power n is equal to 0 ah. Ah. so now we have we still have 5 times 1 first, second, third, fourth first one and so we don't have this time here. Okay, there's three n, a n, x power n, and a five. So these are the three terms. So let me check. 
the favorite thing, right? Yeah, so all the demeric items, let me cross check. Because if you make a mistake, you may have done the mistake for the entire process. Half minus four n plus one n plus two a n plus this one x power n one plus so it is sigma notation three n a n x power n minus sigma notation n is equal to n is equal to zero yes n is equal to zero so this is not correct n is equal to zero n is equal to zero. Uh -huh. Ah, no, here it is m. This is first term, second term. We dealt with second term. So we dealt with this first term. So here to infinity. So n is equal to one to infinity. Uh -huh. So the first term is n is equal to zero. Six n a n. This is xn. So here we forgot what xn minus 1 plus 1. That's what I forgot here. Thank you. Uh -huh. So again, so this is way the way that we are solving all our differential equations with uh, variable coefficient. So a n x bar this one. Then n is equal to zero to infinity five and n x okay fine so everything is fine so we are done with the process we have expressed it, all the terms generic terms of x bar n 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 so we need to express all the five terms in the same generic term so the next process now we have to check the first count index we have to express the first count the first count index of all the five terms in one band. So n is equal to 2, n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 0, n is equal to 0. So how many values of first count index do you have? Three. So we go for the 63. 63, we say that express all the five terms, okay, in the same, in the same counting index. So boss, first and last counting matching, counting index. How? So listen, we have three values of counting index. n is equal to zero, n is equal to one, n is equal to two. Okay, n is equal to zero, n is equal to one, n is equal to two. So how do you express what is what the count what, what value should be common or should be the same? So we have, remember that whenever we have a small value, the immediate value, and the, large, and the largest value of n is equal to 2, we have to change or we have to express this first count index with the value of n of 2, and also we have to express this first count index with the value of 2. So it means that we always raise the counting index, but in a different ways. We raise the first counting index to be the maximum value, the maximum value of the counting index are uh, present or uh, present in the differential equation, but without lowering the summation index. So in this process, we don't touch. It means we don't uh, do the simultaneous uh, operations, basic operations. Which simultaneous basic operations? We told you. That if you want to raise, if we raise the summation index, then we have to lower the counting index. Or if we raise the counting index, we have to lower the summation index. But for this process, in order for us to express all these terms in the same first counting index or in the same counting index, then we have to change all the first counting indexing of small values into the largest value without changing the summation index. Okay, so changing the summation of the index. So if this is the case, you say okay, that's fine. So you to add the case, so you have to think, so how many terms are we going to change? So you're going, um, 
you don't have any problems with first term, you have a problem with second term, you have a problem of third term, okay, you have a problem with fourth term, fourth term, and you don't have a problem with fifth term. So you don't have a problem of third and fifth term because the counting index here is m in the group zero. So we are going to deal with the first, the second counting index, no, the second term, third term, and fourth term. Right? So we're going to deal with mean that let us start with second term. Okay? So the second term, we say that here we have n is equal to zero to infinity, then we have four, n plus one n plus 2, a n plus 2, and this is x in power n. So this is second dot in, second term. So second term, we substitute n is equal to 0, so we have to express this one. So substitute n is equal to 0. So substitute n is equal to 0, 0 plus 1, it is 1. So 4 times 1 times, then 0, 0 plus 2, it is 2. So times 30 times 2, then I have a. So 0 plus 2, it is a2 plus, then we substitute. So this is when n is equal to it, n is equal to 0. So we in, we raise the first count index by 1. So now we have n is equal to 1. So here we, we are going to have what? We are going to have 4, then 1 plus 1 is 2, then 1 plus 2 is 3, then 1 plus 2 is 3, then x power 1. Next, we say plus. So here, when n is equal to 1, now we reach, or we reach the value when n is equal to what? When n is equal to 2. But we have the same value, the same summation index. 4 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times a n plus 2. Okay? So then, once we simplify this, we we'll substitute what we found in the equation what? So this is equation what? Equation 5. Because this was equation 4. You have to be very careful when you are solving ordinary differential equation. Well, so if that's the case, you say, okay, fine, so we have those uh, stuff, we have to deal with what? Now we have to deal with the first step before the first step. So the first step, uh, the third term first, summation, when n is equal to 1 infinity, here we have 3n, 3n times a n, x or n. So to change this counting index to n is equal to 1, then I have to substitute n is equal to 1, here's 3 times 1, here's a of 1, then you have x in power 1. Huh? Plus what? Plus the sigma notation. Now we raise n by 1. So it will be 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then we have 3 n. A n. X power n. So we substitute the value of the terms on the right hand side into the equation 5. Okay? So then we go, we deal with, we have to deal with 13. So we have to deal with four terms, not three terms, four terms. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. So now let us deal with, so remember that this is the third term. Then we have to deal with 13, with the second term n is equal to 0 to infinity. So this is what? Second term. No, fourth term. Hmm? So the fourth term we have what? 6 n plus 1 a n x power n. 
So this is fourth term that is in general. So substitute n is equal to zero. So n is equal to six times zero. Then a what? Is it n is equal to zero or n is equal to one? Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, n is equal to zero. So zero plus one, it's one. Excuse me. Then here we have a one. Then x bar one. Plus what? Sigma notation. When n is equal to no, before sigma notation, that substitute n is equal to one. N is equal to one. So this six times two, a two, x is squared. Then plus sigma notation. N is equal to two to infinity. So this is six n plus one. Then a n x power n. So then we substitute the value of the first term in the equation five. We have the fifth term. Fifth term is n is equal to zero to infinity. Then we have what? Simply we have five a n x power n. So remember that this is fifth term. So substitute n is equal to zero, we have five, we have a zero, x power zero, plus n is equal to zero, plus what n is equal to one. So here we have what? Sigma notation, oh, before sigma notation, we have substitute n is equal to one. So when n is equal to one, we have five, a one, x power one. Plus sigma notation when n is equal to one to infinity. So not to two. Two to infinity. So here you have five, we have a n, we have x bar n. We have x bar n. Right. So now we have the values we have managed to express all our counting index or counting indices in the same manner. So the seventh step we will substitute values of what? Of Substitute values of first thing or substitute values of what? Substitute values of second term. Third term, fourth term, and fifth term. In what? In equation five. Okay? So to substitute these values, we need to touch the first term. This n is equal to 1 to infinity. We have n, n minus 1. Then we have a n x power n. We change the volatility. Second term, what the value of second term? Four times one times two, it is eight. So minus eight a two. Okay. So when x equals zero is one, then we have what? Plus. Uh huh. Twenty four. A three x. Uh, one, then not plus because you have minus. You have minus here, so you have to multiply all the terms with negative. So it's negative, then minus sigma notation, n is equal to two, then half what? You have four times n plus one times what? n plus two, a. 
n plus 2 x bar n. So here we forgot x bar 1 and n. So here we go. Plus what? The value of the set term. The value of the set term t3 times 1 t3 a1x plus sigma notation a is equal to 2 to infinity 3 n a n x power what? x power n okay x power n is this it? Uh -huh. so you go for the first term the first term we have negative uh -huh. the first term we have 6 times 1 is 6 so 6 in 1 x then next you have what 6 times 2 which is what it is negative 12 a2 x x what x squared then minus sigma notation n is equal to 2 to infinity and then say about 6 n plus 1 a n x bar n then the plus is the values of the fifth term <laughs> so it is 5 a naught plus what? 5 a 1 x plus sigma notation when n is equal to 2 to infinity and this is what 5 a n x power n this is equal to 0 so this will make equation 6 Let me cross check it because if you make a mistake there, then we'll be lost. Mm -hmm. So, first term is okay. We have minus 8, a2, minus 24, a3, minus that term, plus 6, a1, where is 6, a1? Where is 6a1? 6a1. That's 3a1x. First of all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So let me come to check it. So first, second, third is correct minus sigma notation 4, uh -huh, n plus 1, and this one, n plus 3, a1, 3, 1, x plus sigma notation of 3, n, a, n, okay? So minus six a one six a one x six a one x six a one. So let me check six a one x. So here is substitute n is equal to zero. So here we have x bar zero. Mm -hmm. So 
So here you have only a six in month, thanks God. So you have to review and check it carefully with the help of God, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So six minus six is one, then minus 12 is two. So this is X in uh, one. Why X power one? Because here we say that when N is equal to it, so substituted this is when n is equal to 1. So here it is x power 1, not x squared. So that's minor correction. Make sure to do that minor correction, please. So this is x power 1, and then minus what? Sigma notations, okay, 6 n uh, 1. Uh -huh. So 6 n plus 6 and then if we refer it was a n plus what plus one. So here we had a n plus one x power n. So similarly, here have to minor correction of what of a n plus 1. Then plus what? Plus 5 a0. Plus 5 uh, a1x power 1. Plus what? Plus 5 an x power n. That is. So it's better for you to do this review before you continue because when you do any mistake along the way, you won't succeed to get the correct recurrence formula. So you have to make sure that you check every term in every state. It's better even if you will end at this point while the, the terms that you have written are correct. Okay, so everything is correct. We thank God for that. So we are going for the eighth state. So the eighth step, we say that you collect the light terms. Now collect the like terms. Collect the like terms of equation what? Equation six. So to collect the like terms, so we have to collect with this has to start with terms of x power zero. So terms of x power zero, the first term it is negative a eight a two. Then the next term which does not have x in is 6a1, okay, then minus 6a1, these terms are raised with x, but you still have also a a naught, then plus what, then plus 5a naught x power 0, 5a naught x power 0, then we say that Next step, we say plus times with x power 1. So we begin with negative 24, a3. Then the next term is plus 3a1. Then the next term is what? Plus 5a1. Yeah, 5a1. So this is what? X power 1. Do you have any terms of X power 2? No. So you go for the terms which contains what is sigma notation. Then the meaning, collect those like terms, because if you collect those like terms, you can simplify them. And also you can compare with identity theory. Do you remember about identity theory? So you have to simplify it with the help of what? Of identity theory. So ladies and gentlemen, now our sigma notations is constant. And, ah, excuse me, this is the first count index is n is equal to 2. First count index is n is equal to 2 to, to infinity. n is equal to 2 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 to infinity. So it means that our sigma notation is common. So this is n is equal to 2 to infinity, and then we can open square bracket. So we have n 
can sort n minus 1, a, n. Also, if you examine these terms which contain the sigma notations, x power n is common. x power n, x power n, and even here x power n, and we watch x power n and x power n. So you can take out of the bracket. Okay? So then we say that the next term here is minus root 4, and you have what? n plus 1, and so times n plus 2. So we have a n plus 2. Yes? Then the next term is what? Plus what? Plus 3, and then a n, x power n is common. Then the next term is what? Minus 6 n plus 1, a n plus 1, a n plus 1, a n plus 1, a n plus 1, then plus what? Then plus 5 a n. This is equal to what? I have a square bracket x power n is equal to 0. Okay? Is equal to 0. <laughs> so this is what's now right now. This is equation 7. Because this was equation 5. Equation 6. Again, we have now to compare this expression we sort. Then we have to compare the expression with identity property. So the ninth step, okay, we call and they apply identity, identity property to remind you as engineering. And scientific student, then the properties when n is equal, for example, to zero, n is equal to zero, n is equal to zero, n is equal to is equal to zero, a n, then we have a n, and then here we have x minus x naught power n. This is equal to sigma notation, n is equal to one, or n is equal to zero to infinity, b n, then we say that x minus x naught plus b power n. Okay. So in this case, we say that it's identity property a n is equal to b n because sigma notations, these sigma notations, the intervals and this one is the same, so we cancel this and this, cancel also this and this. So what does it mean? So on the right hand side, we have 0 times x power 0 plus 0 times x power 1 plus 0 times x power n, that the mean. So we have to compare that, we have to apply. So let me check firstly. Okay, let me check 5a0. Okay, minus that. Okay, x power 0. Mm -hmm. Next is 8a1 minus 12. Add minus 12a2. Minus 12a2. Minus 24, negative 24, 83. Then negative 12, 82. This one I forgot to include them. And then, okay, so here huh, you, have, you have to include. So look, we are looking for the terms of x power 1. So we have negative 24 a 3, and here we have 3 a 1 plus 5 a 1. This will make it 8 a 1, and here we have what? Negative 12 a 2. Negative 12 a 2. Okay. Thank you, God. Then for the sigma notation, we have n, that one, 3 n. Okay, so we've collected those terms, so minus 4, 
N1, this one, third one, into a n, then n minus n, then plus what, 3n, right, 3n, so you have 5n there, then to be what, okay, so 3n plus 5, uh -huh. so minus 16, n plus 1, yeah, everything's correct. We thank God for that. So let us begin with this term. So by using the identity property here, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have negative 8, negative 8, a 2, minus 6, a 1, then plus 5, a naught, 8 power 0, this will compare the straight things like 0, x power 0, so x power 0 cancel, like it cancel there. So simply we find that uh, negative 8, a2, minus 6, a1, plus 5, a naught, this is equal to 0. So we have always what the largest value of the subscript. This, uh, this a has a subscript of 2, subscript of 1, subscript of 0. So we have to explain this with the line value of subscript. So you have to make A2 the subject for this case. So to make A2 the subject, we can bring it on this side. So left hand side, we have 5 A0 minus 6 A1 is equal to 8 A2. A so make A2 the subject. So this minus what? Minus 8, then this is A2 is equal to 5 A0. It's equal to 5 A naught minus 16 A1. Okay? Then over what? Over 8. See it? Yeah. So this is the question what? Question 8. So let us deal with the question 9. Okay. So you have to take it. Negative and 3 minus 8 and 2 no, 8 and 1 minus 12 This is equal to zero, but here we have x power one, so x power one. So this, so this is negative and four and three, and here we have what? Eight and one minus twelve and three and two. This is equal to zero. So you have to make a three. What the minus the value of the subscript is three. So we have to make this the sub. So similar to make the sub, we have 8, a1, minus 12, a2. This is equal to 24, a3. So divided by 24, divided by 24. For a3, if you simplify, you get this 1 third, a1, minus a half, a2. So this is equation 9. Okay, question nine. So is it correct? Yeah, it's correct. But also, we have to keep on simplifying. So we have to keep on simplifying. But, A2 here, we found this 5, A0, minus 6, A1. So you have to make A2 and minus A0 and A1 of what? Over 8. So if you substitute the equation above, you have 1 third A1 minus a half, 5, 
A naught and the six A one over A. So it can keep on simplifying. It's a very difficult one. So you should not name this, you have to keep on simplifying. So it is one third A1. Mm -hmm. So if you do that multiplication, it is negative 5 over 16 A0. Then minus what? 3 over 8 A1. So take one third minus three of an A not A one. So by using the scientific calculator, you will get you will get seventeen because the the four and four eight. Uh -huh. So the term here it is eight. No, it is twenty four. In four but this one is three, so it will be three is one minus the four over eight is three, so it will be nine a one. So not mistaken. So it is negative six a one. So this is negative 6 over 24. If we simplify, So let, let us use the scientific operator just to simplify right. So we have one third plus minus plus minus three over eight. One third minus three over eight. This is twenty four. Eight times one is ah, okay, this is eight. Eight, so ten four, then that is eight. Okay, so eight minus nine is one. So this is eight three. So minus what? Five over sixteen. Eight. So this will make what? This will make negative negative one over twenty four in k one. Then minus five over sixteen is not so it should be minus 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 so negative one over ten four. So simply a three a three it's what it's negative. 5 over 16, A naught, minus A1 over 24. This is equation 9. Okay. So those terms are very important because they can simplify your life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me take you into the 9th or into the 10th state. 
Okay? For finding the recurrence formula right now. So our recurrence formula, so we say that ten state identify recurrence formula. Recurrence formula. So to identify the recurrence formula, we say that we have what? N N minus one and N <coughs> minus what? Minus four N plus one N minus two A N plus two then we say that last word. So plus the A N A N minus six N plus one A N plus one plus five A N. We see the code zero. So this is the formula that we give. So zero. Remember that is x power n. So remember that you can say. Here we had summation of n is equal to zero to infinity, and then here we have summation of n is equal to zero to infinity. While here we have x power n and x power n. So x power n cancel, and this sigma notation also cancel. So we compare the values with our left hand side remains is only zero. So collect the terms of the same substitute. Okay. So here you have n times n minus one. Mm -hmm. Then we have what? We have plus three n. Then plus what? Five. They share the same subscript. So the same subscript is a of n. Then for four n plus one and n plus two. A what? A n plus two. Uh -huh. Then what? Minus six n plus one. A n plus this one is equal to zero. Okay, equal to zero. So, if that the case now. Okay, so we have the same terms. Yeah, so minus six, yeah, everything is correct. So suppose that this is question 10. Okay, so question 10, we say that we make a n plus two the subject in question 10. So to make it a subject, we can bring on this side, on the right side. So left hand side we have n and then times what? Times n minus 1. We have 3n plus 5. Okay? A what? A n. Then minus what? Minus 6. n plus 1. A n plus 1. This is equal to what? Is equal to 4 n plus 1, n plus 2, a n plus 2. So let us divide, okay? So to make a n plus 2 the subject of the formula, then we get it. A n plus two is equal to. So we can expand this term. We get n square minus n plus what? Plus three n plus, three plus five. A subscript of n minus six n plus one a n plus one divided by n. Plus one times ten plus two. 
So now I will cut this formula. A n plus 2. This will make n squared plus twice n plus 5. This is what? A n minus what? 6. n plus 1. A n plus 1. Divided by this term. That's the recurrence formula divided by 4. Ah, where is 4? Where is 4? We had 4. So we had 4. So 4, n plus 1, n plus 2. So you can simplify it further. Okay, because you have n squared. Okay, yeah, right. So we have a n plus 2, this is equal to it. is equal to n squared plus 2 n plus 5. This is a n. Here we have what? Over 4, n plus 1, n plus 2, minus 6, n plus 1, a n plus 1. Divided by 4, n plus 1, n plus 2. So we cancel this and this, we simplify this. So our currents are simplified. Currents format is what n squared plus twice n plus 5. Then this is what? a n of what? Over 4, n plus 1, n plus 2. Okay, n minus what? 3, 3 over 2, 3 over 2, and so you have what? Is 1, n plus 2, then a n plus 1. So this is the recurrence form. This recurrence form, I said that a n plus 1. Okay, this is for n. So this is the recurrence form. For n greater than or equal to 2. So you remember that how do you find this value? We check the value of the first, thing, the general value of the first common index, it was n is equal to 2. So n should be greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so this is the current form. So don't round this in exam, but because I'm teaching you, I can round this one as one of the targets. We are trying our level best to reach that target. Okay? So after having this one, now we can have our power series solution. Our power series solution. So I think that you can pause the video and pop there because I want to remain with these terms. Uh, the A2, we have the A2. One, let me round this one. Don't do this in exam, but the one test it to show you the values that we are going to recall them soon. So these are important values that are grounded. <coughs> grounded. So the next state, don't copy this. I just uh, I just want these two values. That's why I'm cleaning the left hand side. So that this uh, that was the current state of finding the current form. Okay, current form, or you just call it in yes, the current form at the corner. So the eleventh state we call the existence theorem. So the existence theorem can be expressed in sigma notation as y is equal to sigma notation of n is equal to 0 to infinity, then a n x power n. So when n is equal to 1, then we have a naught. That's what when n is equal to 2, when n is equal to 0, we have a naught x power 0. So here you have x power 0. When n is equal to 1, we have a1 x power 1. So you have mind the series now, the power, power, power series. Okay. When n is equal to 2, we have a2 x squared. When n is equal to 3, we have a3 
excluded when n is equal to what? Okay, so when n is equal to uh, they got the form. So we have a four, h power four, a five, h power five, plus dash dash dash. We don't know the value of a naught, we didn't mention a one, we don't know, we know the value of a two and a three. The value of a two, the value of a three. So we can use this recurrence format just to simplify life to find only one term which is the a four. Right? The a four. So once we have this series, we can call it in this is equation what? Uh current formula was what? So this is equation eleven. Let's say we're going to record it. So the twelve step. Okay. So let us find a four by using what? Recurrence, recurrence, recurrence formula. An example now like this one, <coughs> but we can write this recurrence form. Okay, so to use a recurrence form, we say that we have to substitute it. <coughs> A is equal to 4, so we are going to have A, so when N is equal to 2, excuse me, we, start, we have to start with when N is equal to 2, so 2 plus 2 is A, substitute of 4, this is equal to 2 square, so here we are going to have 2 square, then plus what, plus 4, then plus what, plus 5, okay, then this one is what? A2 uh -huh, of what? Over 4. Then n is equal to 2. Three. n is equal to 2 to 4. Minus. Then 3 over 2. So here you have 1 over 5. Then here you have A3. So A4 is equal to what? A plus 5 to 13. <coughs> and then we have what? 16 for the 8. This is meant for the 8. Oh, it just in, yes, for the 8. Ah, this is 5. Uh, Okay, three times this one. <coughs> mm -hmm. So four times three times four. Okay, then four times four. So here you have n is equal to 2, 2 plus 2, it is 4. Thank you. It is 4. Hmm? So here we have 3, let's say 48. This is a2 minus what? 3 over 8, 8 9. Right? Yeah, I think this one. But we know the value of 18 is the value of 18. So we have to substitute it. But a to d is equal to 5 over 16 a not minus what? a1 over 10 4. So if you substitute, get the value of 10 4, 10 13, then sort 48. Over 48, and 2, minus 3 out of 8. 8 to 8 is 5, out of uh, over 16, a naught, minus what? a1, over 10. 
different size and height of A4. This is equal to 13, equal to 8, A2. So 8 is common, so minus. So you can use the scientific pattern here. Mm -hmm. So you have 8 times 16, and that one. So before we subtract so again, we just simplify 16 times 8. 16 times 8, 1.8. So it is now minus 3, or uh, minus 15. So 8 times 16 is 108. 8 naught minus what? 3. A1 of what? 8 times 24. 192. 192. Hmm? So also we have the value of A2. <laughs> have the value of what is A2? What the value of A2? So the value of A2 is 13, uh, uh, is 13 over 48 times 30, the value of A2, which is 5, A0 minus 6, A1 over 8 minus what we have there. It is 15 over 1.8 A0 and have the lead A1 over 1 and 2. Yeah. So, how is the solution in some given problem? It's a little chart, it's a long yarn. Want to tell it's a long time. It's not only for you, even for us when we then really cross a long time. So here we have A4 is equal to what? So we have 48 times 8, 3, 81. 384. So this is equal to 65. A naught. Because I want to simplify. Then 3, A to 384. Okay. And minus what? Minus 16 times 6. 96 A1 A1 uh -huh. So minus what? 15 over 28 A1 Minus what? 3 over 192 A1 So we have to collect the light terms. A4 is equal to it. So you can use our scientific calculator just to do this operation. To do this operation, we have 65 over 384. Then we have to subtract the line. So may God bless you and keep you. This is a whole entire life from the man. Number one, and see you eight. in the next session. The answer is 96 A0 minus negative 96, negative 96 over 384 minus. 3 over 182. Answer it is 
negative 17 over 64 a1. So this is value of a4. But you should not run the exam. I just run it for the purpose of learning, for the purpose of teaching you. At the value of 40 of a4. Okay. So we have right now the solution. So therefore, the power series solution, power series solution is y is equal to, we have a naught, and collect the terms for the a naught, a naught, open bracket, here we have 1, then the next term. So before you conclude, let me write the series and then you simplify the series that you are going to get. So here we have 1 is equal to a naught x, no, a naught uh, a naught x naught. So a1 x, what the value of a2? a2 is 5 a naught. Minus six a one over over eight and so x square and have the value of what of a three the value of a three is negative five over So it will be negative 5 over 16. A naught minus 9 over 24. No, minus A over 24 x in Q. <coughs> then we have 55 over 192 A naught. Minus 17 over 64 a1 x power 4 plus dash dash. So if you want to further simplify, you can have this. Therefore, the power series solution. is y is equal to a naught here you have one next we have plus what five over eight 
x square. Then next you have what? Minus 5 over 16 x cubic. Then you have what? Plus 55 over 182 x power 4. Plus dash 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 plus a1. A1, you have x, then x minus what? Minus 6 over 8, x square, then minus 1 over 24, x cubic, then minus. 17 over 64 x power 4 so this is the power series solution for the given problem really I know that it has been a journey on covering all of this stuff but that's what happens actually in Higher engineering and scientific mathematics. So that's why that we call it in higher engineering and scientific mathematics. So this is the end of lecture 10. <laughs> it has been very interesting. I know that I gave you these questions in lecture 9 as homework, but I would like just to give you the homework, which will be the homework 10. The homework 10, okay. Once you cover, once you reach this point. Then pause the video and put the computer or your the receiving device away and then try to solve these questions on a piece of paper by following all the steps that I've taught you. How many steps? The five four steps from your mind, not from the video or from this lecture that lecture contents that I have taught you. This is the end of this session. I thank God who have created me in his own image and likeness. And I thank God who have given me his fresh anointing and revelations on higher engineering mathematics and higher uh, scientific mathematics. I give him all the glory and all the praise he deserves. And I thank God who have given the opportunity to join me with this long process, war, kind of boring higher engineering mathematics. In. But remember that I, I, I want to challenge you. Think how you can use the information I gave you in lecture 10 on solving a particular real life problems, especially that a real, uh, real life scientific problem or real life engineering problem, because we have so many real life problems. Some of them, they just need political methods to solve them. Some of them just they need maybe a police, right? So that's, that's, uh, that's all. So remember to subscribe for you to get notifications. I'd like to invite you in lecture 10 where we are going to learn about uh, power series solution of ordinary differential equation near other point about uh, near other point about x is not equal to zero. But the next part will be just solving one question and give you the general concept and give you the homework and then we'll be finishing this set chapter. And then we'll go for the first chapter, which actually that we are going to cover power series solution of ordinary differential equation about the year singular point. So I really am very happy because I pulled out the contents of all of these concepts. Share these contents with your classmates. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned. We will be providing contents and we'll be adding at least one video in our YouTube channels at Colin online and available for Institute of Tanzania Square Bracket College of Lightning. If you have any comment, don't hesitate. Or any questions, you have any questions or you have any challenge, don't hesitate yourself to ask in the comment section. Read also the descriptions for you to know about our other online institution and also our other online uh, schools for learning different concepts. For example, ordinary secondary school, ordinary advanced secondary school, and the King, and the Kingdom of Heaven comes in Tanzania. So we have also some other resources or some other official channels to train about all all about what we have got a chance to know. Remember that Olympia does not know everything concerning about higher engineering and scientific mathematics. 
or concerning even particularly just honor and refresh your question. I just know small portions of it, but I have an assignment to teach others what I know. That is all. I'm still learning and I'm always learning this concept. But what I know, I have an assignment from God to teach others. So thank you very much. I invite you in lecture 11 where that we are going to learn about uh, a new concept in the beginnings of the journey, but we are going also to change the variable from x into z. So from x, so we'll be using z and from y especially, we'll be changing the variable y into z. So we'll be dealing with another variable or any other variable. You can use that view, but the common one used in mathematics is z. Don't miss it, share this contents, go through, watch this video several times as well as you can so that these concepts may be in your mindset for the rest of your life.